Hi everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to download data from the US Census and get it into ArcMap. I know we already looked at the website overall uh, in the uh, past video, but I want to go ahead and show you actually downloading the data so that you can get to it and getting it into ArcMap. It's a pretty easy process. They have things set up so they're pretty easy to find, but uh, let me walk you through it here. I'm just on the US Census website right now. Of, of course, tabs are going to change and the look is going to change, but I'm still going under geography and what I'm looking for are the tiger files. So if you search for US Census tiger files, it's going to bring you to this page where you can download uh, different things. So this is what we were looking at before. Let's try to get one of the new 2014 shapefiles. I'm not going to walk through each one of these different types because the process is the same, particularly here for sort of intro level information. But let's go to uh, 2014 uh, Tiger Files and uh, you know I've got all different options here but let's say that this is the one that I want. I'm going to go to 2014 and uh, download let's go web interface what would I like to download? Blocks, block groups, census tracts, estates, places, all kinds of information. Military installations, water, railroad, landmarks, coastlines, all sorts of things. This is a great place to grab some geometry for your uh, uh, GIS data if you need it. Oh, let's uh, I tell you what, American uh, in, in Indian Area Geography sounds good to me. I'll say submit, something different. Uh, what's my next thing here? Alaska Native Regional Corporation Current. Ah, sure, let's download that. I'm just going to hit download, and there it is. Now, this is going to come to my downloads folder. All of these census files are rather cryptically named. This is a code. All of the census files have a code. I mean, 2014, that one's kind of obvious. But when you download a bunch of stuff from the, the census, you're going to have a, a bunch of these different codes on here. And I forget what they all are. I'm not an, an expert in the census. I don't use it every day. But if you do use the census a lot, then knowing what these codes are will tell you what the data set is. But I don't know. When you download this data from the census, it's going to be zipped. So you're going to have to unzip the data in order to get to the shapefile. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, extract all. Yep, sure, just extract it right there. Here it is. That's what's inside. Looks like a shapefile to me. Those are all the component files of a shapefile. You can check them out. You probably recognize them. So it looks like we do have a shapefile here. So this was something about Native American Indians in Alaska. So let's add that. So there's the folder that I extracted. When I click into the folder, yep, ArcMap recognizes all of those component files as a shapefile. That's that code that we've got here. I'm going to say add. And uh, there we go. So we do have some information about uh, Alaska here, uh, whatever uh, whatever it, it was. Oh, and we've got uh, some great uh, attribute information in here as well. So we can check that out. Uh, I wonder, they probably have a metadata file, I know they have a metadata file, that will tell you what all of these mean up here, what all of your field names mean, so that uh, if you need this data set, you'll know exactly what it is. But uh, you can check that out. And that, okay, so that, that worked, that worked uh, rather well. So I'll just uh, remove it from my project right now, and we'll go do another one. So that one was, uh, just going back here, that was the tiger line shape files, and the process is going to be the same for all of these. So you can just download whichever ones you like. Let's, I'm going to skip the databases uh, for now, since in the intro class I don't really go over them all that much. But you could download them. You'll be able to add them to ArcMap. Let's go to the one that says um, tiger line files with selected demographic and economic data. That's probably one that people are going to be uh, very interested in, because that one's already got some of the census data attached to it. So 2010 Census Demographic Profile 1 Shapefile Format. Demographic Profile 1 is one of the, the, the sets of information that the census collects. So it's going to tell you up here, these national level shapefiles join the geometry and selected attributes from the 2010 Tiger Line Shapefiles and the 2010 Census Summary 1 Demographic Profile, DP1. So that's a specific set, a subset of the data that the census collects for the United States and Puerto Rico. 
So they contain items such as total population, total housing units, median age, population 16 years or over, population 65 years or over, race, relationships. Wow. So all of this stuff, that's not everything in the census by any stretch of the imagination. But this is a lot of stuff they already have attached for you and it'll be ready to go. And then you pick what type of geography you would be interested in. So uh, let's take a look at, it uh, uh, doesn't really matter here, let's, uh, I'm going to do counties. Downloads it, oh, that's a rather large file, so uh, it's going to download here. And it's downloading a, a zipped file, it's downloading a compressed file. Okay, there it is, let's go check it out. There is the zipped up file right there, we need to extract it. Uh, looks like a shapefile to me again. Look, I've got the component parts of the shapefile right there. So, uh, looks looks good. Let's check it out in ArcMap. Let's see what we've got. That looks like U.S. counties to me. It looks like we got the right geometry. Looks like counties all across the U.S. Now this is the one that said it had a bunch of the census information in it. The summary file one general population. So let's see what we've got. Oh wow, look at that. That's got a whole bunch of uh, fields in there. So there's a bunch of census data that comes preloaded when you download this. That's great. I'm sure that'd be very helpful to lots of people. Now notice up here across the top though, look at what the uh, fields are named, and this is common in GIS anyway to have these kind of cryptically named fields because they're codes for something else. So we need to find out what that means if you're looking for it. So what what is DP 00400003? I have no idea. It means something though. If you're more familiar with the census data than I am, if you work with it a lot, you'd undoubtedly at least remember the codes for the the data that you need to get to. I noticed on the census website, it does say these files lack metadata, and by that I believe it means the official shapefile metadata file as a component file of the shapefile. But you can find metadata for the shapefiles in the 2010 census tiger line shapefiles if you need it, and then it does say there's a Microsoft Excel file in each zip that gives short data tables names for each one of the those cryptic names. So for instance, DP0010001 is the short name for the data table containing total population. So let's just check that out because that will be something that's handy for you if you need it. So I'm going to go back to that folder where I extracted that shapefile from and I do have an Excel sheet right here. Uh, that is the uh, attribute table, so I'm not going to open that. I'm going to open DP table descriptions and open. I don't have Excel installed here. I've got open uh, Office installed. But oh, okay, so there you go. The, here are all of the code. So if you need to look up what something is, you're looking for something, you need to know what the code is, uh, this file has it for you. So wow, look at all this information. So households by type, family households with own children under 18 years. That is the column DP0130003. Husband and wife family, DP0130004. So you just have to look up and see exactly what it is that you're looking for and find out its code in order to do whatever you want with it. But uh, now it's ready to do any kind of analysis or make any kind of map or whatever you would like to do with it. Uh, I think there was one other thing I wanted to check out. So that was the tiger line with selected demographic and economic data. Cartographic boundary shape files. People may be interested in those. I think they should be pretty straightforward. Let me just remove these since we're done with it. And what do we want? Um, I think I was playing with traffic analysis zones. So let's just download the traffic analysis zones. Lots of urban planners use these uh, for a lot of work they do. Let's download uh, Indiana. Oh, already coming. See, zip file. We've got to go extract it. Uh, 
Now, okay, that was the other thing about these. These I'm not quite a fan of as much because they are missing a very important component file to this to the shape files. It does not have the .prj file, which contains the coordinate system information. And I don't really like that all that much because it, it's a problem that I, I hadn't seen in a while. I used to have this problem all the time, but it, uh, particularly with census data, but they've gotten better about it, as particularly with the newer stuff, making sure that it has coordinate system information. Um, why some of the older stuff does not, uh, even though that wasn't that old, was it? No, this is 2000, which is not all that old, but okay. Uh, 2000, yeah, I suppose that's about right, because uh, when I used to work with things, I was probably working with, about, since it's information, I was probably working with it about 2000. So if you go back that far, the shape files are not complete. When I add it, I'm going to get a message that it doesn't have uh, spatial reference information. You notice there are only three files in that, which is smaller, a smaller number of component files than were in the other. Yeah, the following data sources you you added or missing spatial reference information. This data can be drawn into ArcMap but cannot be projected. I want to talk much more about this error. I typically do it in the second semester class. There's a lot to be said there, and it's because it doesn't have the .prj file. There's not a whole lot that we can do about that. I don't want to go into the history of why that is right now, uh, but a lot of the uh, census stuff was originally designed, or was not originally designed to be GIS data, and so it didn't have uh, spatial reference information. We kind of shoehorn it into different things and, and can get it into GIS like I've done right here, but we do get that warning and that does give us uh, some problems later on if you're trying to match it up with other files and so forth, because we're using it in a way that which it wasn't uh, originally intended to be used. But anyway, we can go into that at some other time, maybe the history of tiger files and uh, the component files of shape files and so forth. But nonetheless, quick and easy to download, and it might uh, serve your purpose as long as you're aware that it is missing its PRJ file. Well, is there anything else we need to say about that? Uh, I don't think so. That's getting census data into ArcMath.